Hey folks, this is Engineer 775. I wanted to give you an update on the multiple generators. I'll get back to RAM pump soon, but the uh, multiple generator project is something I need to get done and just want to give you an update. Again, this is for if you sometimes you can find uh, decent cheap generators on Craigslist or eBay, you know, around $1,000 compared to um, $10,000, $12,000 and higher for a, for a new one, um, whether propane or diesel or natural gas or. And, and so, um, so this way, um, this might be something you can think about. You can do a cheaper, cheaper generators, and um, I was able to pick up two uh, for the price of a, th a third of the price of a new one. And so, what I'm doing is hooking up these generators, um, and I'll show you what I'm what I'm up to here. Okay, I'm about to hopefully Tuesday pour a pad here, just a new generator shed, um, and this one I'm going to work on silencing and all that. But I'm bringing two generators in here. I got some awesome four conductor wire from a from a buddy of mine, and uh, this stuff is is awesome. Number two, more than what I needed, but it's great, and the connectors even for that. So anyway, um, I already had an existing line in, I'm putting another one in here, and I'll show you. If you go to the multiple generators video part one, you'll see the, the switch gear, which was my big Christmas present for prepping, and here it is. And again, this is going to have, it's got a manual switch, and I'm going to have the wood gas generator here, and uh, the diesel generator here. So wood gas up, diesel down, and finished up the wiring yesterday, got the wood gas one coming in here to that set of lugs and then I've got the um, diesel generator the smaller generator coming to this set of lugs and then and then both of them can feed depending on which one's on excuse the noise will come out of the box I'm gonna back up here and get the whole the whole thing so on the left is the grid then the manual transfer switch which I can turn the grid off or on, or if the grid's off, I obviously I got to turn it to auxiliary to get power. Then the looping line is the main line for the generators, and then my two generator lines meet here, and I have them running both into this junction box coming up here, and then they go to each each of the two two lugs. So grid transfer switch. This is a sub panel for my house and then for an RV hookup as well and then um, and then I have uh, the transfer switch that handles both the generator so this might be give you some ideas there's I've been thinking about this for about a year how I wanted to do this and I'm finally wired up so now I just gotta finish I'm gonna put some more uh, wire in here actually got some field phone wire got some field phone wire I'm gonna throw in the trench couple lines lines of that that I got from uh, Southern Prepper one so I'm, I'm gonna load the ditch up with a bunch of wire also put a number 10 two in there to have a 30 amp circuit out there so on the pad will be diesel generator wood gas generator and a gasifier to run the wood gas generator Okay, if you've got any questions about that, fire away. Um, and then, yes, I'm going to build a building over this and get them s as quiet as possible. I'll be working on an exhaust that I might actually share between the two generators and it's just to save some money on silencing. Okay, if you guys got any good ideas on silencing generators uh, and you've done that, I've seen a couple that are pretty cool. Um, let me know. Thanks.